Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about polar tracking. Have you ever used something like AutoCAD or a CAD software? If you did, you probably know what polar tracking is. For those of you that do not have any idea what polar tracking is, let me bring you a, a screen or a screenshot from AutoCAD. This is from one of my latest books about AutoCAD 2025. And this is the part where I explain how to use polar tracking. And by the way, this is the uh, entire layout or most of my books, they follow this exact same layout where uh, whenever I have to explain something, I have a step-by-step -step process where I point and add numbers to each one of the steps. And in the text, I explain what you have to do and the effects or uh, the consequences of doing certain things during a task like using polar tracking. And this is a screen from AutoCAD 2025. And as you can see here, we have an option in the status bar to enable polar tracking and a set of predefined angles. Okay, what can we do and what is the effect of using polar tracking? If you enable polar tracking in AutoCAD, you will have your drawing tools or transformations, uh, entities following a certain angle, or they will be limited by a certain angle. Like, uh, as you can see here, I'm drawing a line and this line is using a polar tracking of zero degrees. We can use something that looks like this in Blender. How? Using the snap. Let me take this out and we can take a look on how to use something like that in Blender. And to make it easier for, uh, for you to understand, let me remove all of those objects and we can start by creating a plane. And one of the things that you have to keep in mind, even trying to make this comparison between Blender and AutoCAD, they are completely different softwares. This is something that I always point uh, when I'm trying to explain Blender, uh, a Blender for architects, designers, or anyone that uh, engineering uh, engineers uh, that have previous experiences with something like AutoCAD. They are completely different softwares, but we can try to mimic some of the tools with the right options. Let me go into edit mode. I will select this edge, press shift D and let's move it to the side. Now, how can we enable something that looks like polar tracking in Blender? If I go to my snapping options, I will enable the snapping and by default Blender will start your snapping by uh, uh, affecting only the move transformations. You have an option here to enable the for rotation and scale. If I enable the, the snapping for rotation, you can set the angle that you want to limit your rotation. For instance, let's say I want to use 45 degrees. Now, if I try to rotate this edge, it will try to limit or track that rotation to 45 degrees only. Uh, here in Blender, the best way to set this as the pivot for your rotation is with the 3D cursor. And I will align the 3D cursor. This is something unique to Blender. We don't have the 3D cursor in AutoCAD. If I press Shift S and you choose cursor to select it, we can change the pivot to the 3D cursor. And if I try to rotate this now, our Z or rotation will be limited to 45 degrees. And using this same principle, you can start making transformations or move or move your objects around with 45 degrees, uh, 45 degree angles with rotations. For instance, if I try to duplicate this, I can move my 3D cursor there, cursor to select it, and I will rotate this this location and I can move it from this point to this point, press G and B to capture a snap base. It will grab the vertex as if it was something like an, uh, an, an end point from AutoCAD. And I can place it here. 
let's try to move this point g b and grab it from here and if you want to select the entire block you can grab just a few of the vert uh, of the vertices press ctrl l to grab uh, to select your connected uh, vertices and we can duplicate this again shift d let's move it g b and i can keep doing this let's say i need to rotate this 90 degrees let me press ctrl l still have to select in this case we need to use the wireframe mode to select the entire set of edges and i will i forgot to set my to move my 3d cursor here if you want you don't need to use your snapping you can just hold uh, press and hold the shift key and if i move my 3d cursor with the right mouse button i forgot to enable here my vertex it will grab that location it it will be faster than pressing shift s ctrl l i can rotate it now but it's not i have to use the increment and vertex to make it to make it work with polar tracking i know it's not exactly the same as polar tracking but it's as close as possible with no additional add-ons and for someone that is coming from uh, a cad environment or a cad workflow this is this is uh, something that blender does uh, really well with the help of the 3d cursor as long as you move your 3d cursor around and set pivot points for your rotation you can control and limit your rotations using this option here in the snap and this is it this is how you can uh, emulate polar tracking autocad's polar tracking here in blender just use your snapping options and i hope you liked this tutorial i hope you liked the video if you do uh, if you did uh, enjoy this video and you think it might be useful for someone else please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my future uh, tutorials related to using blender as a cat tool and by the way i will leave a list of my recent books here in the description of the video uh, if you want to check them out it helps uh, it supports my work here on blender 3d architect i have books on autocad 2025 if you are looking to learn about autocad i also have an open source option qcad and of course blender with precise modeling for architecture engineering and 3d printing links in the description i see you next time bye